What is up guys? Welcome back to the Acceleration Hub for another video. So today, this video right here marks the beginning of the ultimate hunt. Hayden Kim commented on one of my videos saying that I should call it the ultimate hunt as I go through and look to collect all 36 carded acceleracers. And I love it, so we're sticking with it. Today's the first episode of the ultimate hunt. Now the way that this is gonna work, basically, I'm going to be going through on eBay, looking for deals, looking for um, cheap carded acceleracers that I can buy um, for you guys to see. And eventually, like I said, I'm going to collect all 36. I'm going to keep them up on the wall behind me as a, uh, some eye candy for you guys when you watch the videos. But I'm not going out and just going to buy a factory sealed set so I can get all 36 quickly. My goal is to go through and buy them individually or in small pieces at a time, like four or five at a time, as cheaply as I can so that I can see just how cheaply we can complete the acceleration set. And something tells me that you guys will also enjoy that a little bit more than just me going in in one fell swoop and purchasing all 36 at once. I think you guys will enjoy the process of seeing me go through, win some auctions, lose some auctions, do my best to snag them quick on buy it now when some deals are listed. But that's the way this is going to go. And obviously, I'm going to start with the cheapest first. Uh, whatever deals I see, I'm going to be buying those first. And uh, we'll slowly work our way up to the more expensive cars. Now, I get notified just about any time anything new with accelerators in the title is listed on eBay. So um, I'll probably be making some quick purchases here and there. Um, a lot of times when I'm on the go, I'm always refreshing my eBay app, making sure there's no deals that are popping up that I'm missing. So if anything pops up cheap, I'm going to go ahead and step in and snatch it. Um, I'm not going in any particular order. I could buy a silencer first, then a metal maniac. Maybe I'll buy all the metal maniacs first. I don't know. It just depends whatever and whatever order the deals present themselves. That's the order we're going to collect them in. Now, the only issue with recording the series is that the editing software that I use doesn't really like vertical video and the eBay app only works vertically on my phone. So obviously you can't turn your phone to the side and have the eBay app turned to the side unless you're on like an iPad, I think. And uh, I haven't messed around enough with screen recording on my computer. And a lot of times I'm not around my computer when these auctions are ending or when I'm on the go. So a lot of these clips will probably be recorded on my phone. So there's gonna be a lot of vertical video, but I'm gonna do my best to make it presentable in the videos. So obviously there's gonna be like some vertical screen and then like some excess open screen because the vertical video isn't gonna take up the whole screen because the video software is meant to be recorded with videos that are horizontal. That's the only thing that I'm going to warn you guys about. There's gonna be some vertical video uh, screen recordings of my eBay app. But anyways, let's get right into the first episode of The Ultimate Hunt. So ending tonight are two cheap Metal Maniac cars. I'm hollowback and riveted and I'm gonna make those my first target. Uh, there's a $5 shipping charge, but I'm hoping that if I can get them both cheap enough, obviously the combined shipping, it'll be $250 each, one for each car. So those are the cars that we're going for first. So here we are keeping an eye on these riveted and hollow back. And just here's a look at some of the other items I'm watching. Got some booster packs we're keeping an eye on. Um, got some sets, some cars. Typically anything that's high dollar or anything that's interesting, I, I tend to keep my eye on because I like to just see uh, what products are moving and when. But we're keeping our eye on this riveted here for now. Um, the hollowback is a great deal right now, four dollars plus. I mean, two fifty for shipping. If I can win them both, so that'd be like six fifty. Now the uh, the riveted is a little expensive. Now I really don't think a riveted is worth twelve fifty plus the two fifty shipping. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bid like fourteen dollars, fourteen fifty. Um, I'll just go fourteen fifty with it. And uh, obviously with 250 shipping, that'll be like $17. Well, we'll go down to like $16.75. But um, for the sake of video, we'll try to get it. So I'm going to try to slide in a bit at the very last second and see if we can pull this out. So seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go for it. Oh, we did not get it. Someone else really... Wow, they paid that much for a riveted. That's crazy. With $5 shipping, they're going to end up paying like... $20 for that riveted. I personally wouldn't pay more than like $10 to $12 for one. I was the only reason I was going to pay that much is because just for the sake of the video. But man, I cannot believe that sold for that much. Oh well. Now let's try to get this hollow back. It's quite unfortunate that we couldn't get the pair of them because now I'm going to have to pay the full $5 shipping for the hollow back. But it is what it is. Let's just see if we can go ahead and get this. And uh, who knows? Maybe that was a blessing not to pay that much for that riveted. So. We're just going to try to go $8 here. Just need some luck. All right. Three, two, let's go for it. And we got it. Look at that. We won this hollow back for pretty cheap. And you know, that actually worked out a little bit better instead of having to pay the, the $20 for the riveted and the hollow back. 
Um, six fifty plus five dollars shipping, so that's eleven fifty total. That's honestly not a bad deal. I mean, I would probably pay between ten and twelve dollars for a sealed hollow back, so it's right in the wheelhouse of what I would normally pay for one. And it's not too shabby. So we got our first car out of the thirty six, and hopefully there's going to be a lot more to come. And uh, we're going to see just how cheap we can get all thirty six. Well, we did our best. We got one out of two, so we got the hollow back. So that is going to be the first car that we're going to be putting on the wall behind us uh, when I get back up to school. Obviously, I'm home right now over holidays, but when I get back up to school, that's going to be the first car on the wall is the hollow back that we just bought. So we're officially 136 of the way through the Acceleracer series. So I'm sitting in my car on break, just scrolling through the eBay listings and look what popped up. One seller selling six new in-package Metal Maniac cars for really, really cheap prices. Like, I mean, this Spine Buster is $15. I mean, that's a little expensive, but that's honestly kind of fair for a Spine Buster. But these other cars are such a great deal. They're selling for $5, $7.50. Um, this is just a great find. The only problem is there's a $5 shipping charge on each one. But hopefully he'll combine shipping and I can snag all of these for cheap. So I was able to work things out with him and he does combine shipping. So I got all six of these cars for $62.58. Hollowback, Jackhammer, Ratified, Spinebuster, Powerbomb, and Rolling Thunder. What a steal, $62.58. So let's see how much they cost um, individually, shall we? Because I'm going to try to keep a running total of how much I've spent in the Ultimate Hunt. Just sort of see how expensive it is to uh, collect all the cars. How much was it again? Let's go back and see. $62.58. Okay, so $62.58. And let's divide that by six to see what the price per car was. So $10.43 a piece. So there are five new ones. And so we'll do times five. So $52.15 is what we spent to get those five new accelerators. And then obviously I spent 11.50 on the first hollow back. I'm not going to cheat the system. So the grand total that we paid so far is 63.65 to get those first six accelerators on our way to getting all 36. Not bad at all. So we got the first hollow back for $11 and we just went through and bought another six accelerators cars. And obviously the hollow back will be a duplicate, but the deal was too good to pass up for that. So I really didn't mind. And uh, we'll just open it on camera whenever it comes in. But now we have six of the 36 accelerators. The six Moto Maniacs that we have are Hollowback, Jackhammer, Ratified, Powerbomb, Rolling Thunder, and I'm forgetting one, Spine Buster, I believe. So we now have those six of the 36 accelerators. Can't wait to get those in and get those on the wall behind us. And I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing me go and purchase those. So six out of 36, we're six of the way done. Hopefully there's gonna be some more great deals coming before we have to start shelling out big, bu big bucks for Chicane, Spectite, Reverb, the high dollar items. Now, the funny thing is I didn't realize at the time that I was purchasing those last six accelerators that we bought, but the guy who sells them actually has like a ton of them, like 10 to 12 of those particular six or seven accelerators. And they're all really cheap. They're all like the $5, $7.50. So if you guys are looking for some cheap Metal Maniac accelerators, you should definitely go in and buy from him. Um, it's a great deal and you're not going to find them for a better price than that for five dollars a piece but as always if you guys ever purchase anything on ebay be sure to go down and use my affiliate link that is down in the comp down in the description of the video um, that will help me out greatly it doesn't have to be from my store but i will get a small kickback of the purchase and that money will go straight to giveaways for you guys and so like i said that's all i have for today for the ultimate hunt hopefully you guys enjoyed the first installment and hopefully there's going to be a lot more to come so now i will see you guys in the next video peace guys